Hello my beautiful people, how are you? It's me Nadia and today's video is going to be on how to be confident. So I'm going to give you guys 10 tips on basically my personal experience and what helped me be confident. So I wanted to share this with you guys to help you guys out. And I hope it does help you guys. <laughs> and I'm no expert by any means so I just wanted to say that it's just what I came to realize and my own conclusions so let's get started <laughs> alright so number one is to block out negativity okay so what I mean by that is block out negative energies negative people negative things just anything that doesn't make you happy block it out and just cut it off especially negative people because that plays a huge factor of your mental state of mind. Like for example, I've been in relationships with bad people, <laughs> toxic relationships that made me feel bad about myself. Like I had relationships where my ex-boyfriend made me feel bad about myself. So ultimately, I see that in general, how people make you feel is it reflects who they are and how they feel about themselves so sometimes in life you have to cut it loose and just let it go so just let negative people go out of your life because it just doesn't help your mental state of mind and it just makes you a better lighter person <laughs> um, so yeah that's what I believe you know just block out bad people that are just not good for you don't help you help you grow and lift you up you know so yeah that's number one <laughs> number two take care of yourself this is so important what I mean by that is take care of yourself in all aspects of your life mentally emotionally physically um, spiritually and financially because when all of your life and when all aspects are kind of taken care of you feel much better and confident. Number three, exercise and healthy diet. Let me tell you, I used to eat very unhealthy and oh my God, it, it, I just, I would eat fast food and everything, you name it. I would have five to six cans of Pepsi like every day, I kid you not. And I look back, I'm like, how the hell did I do that? Oh my God, it's crazy. <laughs> so yeah. Now I work out so much and I change my diet. I'm still working on it. It's tough, <laughs> but I'm getting there. So I notice such a shift. When you start exercising and taking care of your body and taking care of your health, you not only, you know, feel good on the uh, outside, but you feel good on the inside, like mentally. Oh my God, I can't even tell you how much it makes you feel better you feel lighter you feel good you look good and you feel good and when you start seeing results of like how your body starts feeling how much you know energy you have how your mindset is more motivated you feel so good and confident so that's another thing that helped me changing my um taking my exercise seriously and eating healthy so yeah number four pamper yourself it's so important to take care of yourself and your appearance because when you look good you feel good so for example like take care like go get your nails done or your hair done get a haircut whatever it is massage yourself or even as little as going to get dessert and treat yourself as that or go shopping buy yourself a shirt a nice new shirt or something a dress you know so you know take care of you pamper yourself when I go to the nail salon, get my manicure and pedicure, I feel amazing. It's like my therapy. <laughs> like I feel good when I take care of myself. Put on a little makeup, go and get my hair done here and there, get a massage once in a blue. Anything. Just pamper your body. Take care of you. Whatever it is, take a bath. Put on a face mask. Whatever it is, pamper yourself. Take care of yourself. It's so important. And yeah, it just really makes you feel good, you know? Like I said, when you look good, you feel good, you know? Who doesn't want to feel good, you know? Okay, number five, step out of your comfort zone. This is such a simple thing to do, but it's so hard for people. It was even hard for me. Like, I 
stepped out of my comfort zone a lot lately and I'm it made me so confident like this is what helped me like like be less scared in life like you know um and so what I did is like Go do something out of the ordinary that you normally don't do. Do something that scares the living shit out of you. <laughs> Excuse my language, but yeah, do something that scares the crap out of you. Like, um, for example, like I, it was on my bucket list to go to the movies by myself, right? Cause I don't know, I just always wanted to do that, and um, I did. I ended up doing it. And it was awesome. Like I was always afraid to do, like, go to the movies by myself because I'm like, oh my god, I don't want to look like a loser. But when I did it, it was awesome, and it wasn't even that bad. So I am so happy I did that because after that, I went to the movies a couple of times by myself. You know. So yeah, do something that's out of the ordinary. And another thing is, I traveled to another country by myself, but I did have a friend there. <laughs> but I still went to another country by myself so that was the scariest thing for me that I've ever done because I always kind of wanted to go to another country travel by myself but I was like terrified I was petrified like you don't understand because I'm a girl and traveling along to another country you don't know what's gonna happen so I put my trust and faith and everything worked out um, I met my friend there and it was great and I had the best time of my life and it was life-changing let me tell you so I really stepped out of my comfort zone and usually I'm courageous and pretty brave but that was just like something I didn't think I was actually going to do like if you asked me years ago if I would have done that oh I would have told you I'm never gonna like I would never travel by myself but it was awesome and but guys if you do something like that please be safe make sure to be safe and yeah I just you know happened to have a friend and I just made sure like everything was gonna be okay <laughs> so yeah like that's what my overall message with this is like stepping out of your comfort zone is just doing things that you don't even you don't normally do and like you're are just simple as like breaking out of your daily routine you know that's just like you know doing something that breaks you know your routine and just I don't know sorry guys my hair is like <laughs> yeah so yeah, just do something out of the ordinary that breaks the routine a little bit even as simple as that you don't have to go to extreme measures like I did but it really does freaking like boost your confidence like after that I felt like I wasn't afraid of anything anymore I was like I can do anything yes Ooh, let's do more you know <laughs> so yeah that's what lifts your confidence boosts your confidence so that's what helped me so yeah number six let's go into number six now um be social um talk to talk to people talk to anyone you know like put yourself out there talk to different types of people different types of personality people who have different styles than you like you know just or who come from a different culture or background or nationality you know like just just step out and just be social because it makes you more confident getting to know other people talking to them you're just stepping out you know so that's really important and good helps boost confidence and yeah so number six is watch motivational videos motivational videos have helped me out tremendously with my confidence and it just motivated me so much and when you're motivated and pumped you have this confidence like going within you so yeah motivational videos on YouTube definitely I recommend that to help you guys out with whatever you want like are trying to do whether it's fitness being an athlete whatever it is you're trying to anything anything school because it helped me with school and college so yeah um number eight so number eight is laugh and be happy just do whatever lifts your spirits up like dancing or your passions or your hobbies or anything just do something that makes you happy lift your spirits follow what makes you happy whatever it is whatever whether it's knitting whether it's <laughs> I don't know reading or whatever it is dancing singing just do it you know make yourself happy because when you're happy and lift it and you lift your spirits you feel confident you feel at high you feel like a high you feel like a at the top of the world you know <laughs> um so yeah do that that helps and okay number nine is love yourself and accept yourself the way you are just 
you know that's so important and that's also very simple but it's so hard and it takes us a very long time to get to like me too it took me so long to learn how to love myself and accept myself as who I am I'm still in the process of doing it and once you are okay with who you are you're gonna feel amazing because you just you're like hey you know I feel good you know I am who I am I am an individual I am unique I'm different you know we're all here to be different to be unique to stand out we were not born to fit in okay <laughs> so yes love yourself and accept yourself okay number 10 last one is positive affirmations tell yourself you are amazing you're awesome and not in an arrogant way, okay? Don't be like, oh, I'm the I'm the shit, I'm cool, I'm amazing. Not like that, in a humble way, in a confident way. Say, hey, I am great at this. I am a wonderful person. I have a good heart. I am beautiful on the inside and outside. Tell yourself, I'm the best at this. I'm passionate about this. I am cool. I love my body. I love this and that about myself. Just you know, remind yourself how amazing you are because that's sometimes the most important thing and we forget how to do that. You know, self-love. Like I said, love yourself. So yeah, when I tell myself, hey, I'm good, I'm okay, like I'm, I'm strong. When I tell myself these things, I'm strong. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm very resilient. It's like, it reminds me like, oh, okay, I am just, you know, it reminds me of how strong I am and I feel good again, you know, reminding myself. And it's so important. Positive affirmations. You gotta keep going. You gotta, you gotta, you just got to. So, these are my 10 steps <laughs> on 10 tips on how to be confident, which helped me tremendously in my life. So, yeah. So, guys, in the end, remember baby steps. It's not going to happen overnight. It takes time to be confident and you'll eventually get there. So you know that's what matters, just baby steps, okay? So just remember, you're different, you're lovely, you were born to stand out, we're not, not to fit in, you know? So yes, <laughs> I hope this helped you guys and yeah, please stay confident, be happy, stay beautiful and yeah, I love you guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>